Hey guys, welcome back to my preview and my predicted lineup for Arsenal versus Newcastle tomorrow night from the Emirates and This is gonna be a massive game. We've come back off the win of beating Brighton 4-2 on on New Year's Eve. But now it's time. We've we've entered a new year now, so it's time for us to step up our game a notch and it's time for us to start get into the stage where we start behaving if that is if that's the correct word word to use. This is gonna be a massive game. Newcastle ain't no easy team. I said this about Brighton, but Newcastle ain't no easy team. This this is gonna be really hard. Um, after Newcastle actually, our next league game is Tottenham away. But our next game in general is in the FA Cup. Away at Oxford's at Oxford United, so I will be, I will be doing a preview to that game. That one will be very interesting to see what my lineup's gonna, gonna be. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for the, for the Tottenham game. Well, whenever that is, I think it's not this weekend. I think it's next weekend, the weekend of the Manchester derby as of the Manchester derby as well. Manchester United versus Manchester City. But yeah, with that said. Let's hop right into my preview and predicted donor. Starting off in goal, Aaron Ramsdale. Simple choice for me. <clears throat> I don't I don't need need to, to go in it. Right. Getting into the defence, first of all, left back Kieran Tierney. I think I think we should bring Tierney back in for this game. I think Zinchenko's record in, over the years against Newcastle to City hasn't been very good. Every time he's played Newcastle, Newcastle have even won have either won or he's conceded more than two goals so for me it's Kieran Tierney tomorrow it's Kieran Tierney right back ben, ben White again it's as simple as that Ben White has been one of our be one of our players of the, players of the season and I think if he carries on the way he's playing I, I think we have some something else in our hands into the centre back pairing first of all Gabriel looked, looked a bit shaky against Brighton I'm not going to lie to you, but, yeah, alongside him, William Saliba, that mistake he made for the Matoma goal against Brighton was horrendous, he should have at least booted, booted the ball this way and not come backwards and started turning around and booting the ball the other way, I don't know, but it, w it was horrendous, whatever happened there, it was horrendous, but, but Saliba keeps this ball. Into the midfield duo, first of all, Thomas Partey. Again, without him, we would not be in this stage, in the stage that we're in now. We would not be... We'd be suffering. If, we were, if, if it wasn't for Thomas Partey, we'd, we, we would literally be suffering. That is the reason why we are top of the league. Thomas Partey controls the game everywhere he goes. Alongside him, Granit Xhaka, another player. What a miraculous turnaround he has had. He was absolutely abysmal last season. But this season he's come back and turned himself into a new player. Like, he's just a new player. But yeah, yeah, Granit Xhaka. Into the attacking, into the attacking three. First of all, on the left-hand side. First of all, on the right-hand side, Bukayo Saka. I think his performance against Brighton just said, just said it all. I mean, Saka again, Odegaard, Saka, but yeah, Saka for me, he's just an unbelievable player, honestly. Saka, he's just one of our best players. On the left hand side, Gabriel Martinelli, again, he is, he is something else, mate. Him, Saka and Odegaard are something else. They, they control the game together. They control the way that we play. Yeah, so yeah, on the left hand side, Gabriel Martinelli. Through the middle, Martin Odegaard. He, for me, he's been our player of the season. I said Shaq has been one of our players of the season, and, 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 and Ben White. But I think Odegaard has been our number one player of the season. Behind him, Shaka in second, and, and in third, Ben White. Up front as the main striker, Eddie Nketiah, got himself another goal the other night 
against Brighton, I'm happy for him. I'm really happy for him. And I think if he play, if he carries on playing the way that he's playing, I think we have something to compete with Jesus on our hands with. But yeah, up front, Eddie and Ketia. And yeah, that that is it for my preview and predicted lineup. Um, make sure you like, um, please subscribe. And um, with that said, please come on, Arsenal.